Al Jazeera, one of the world's most controversial broadcasters, has launched an English news channel which will be seen in Australia. It hopes to rival CNN, but has to overcome criticism of its Arab sister channel for showing Al-Qaeda terror tapes. Day one of a new era in television news. Seen around the world in Arabic and now in English too. On Al Jazeera, we'll be setting the news agenda. An agenda amounting to Islamic propaganda, claim critics. Free of censorship and bias, says the channel, owned by the Emir of Qatar. We want to uh, report not only uh, in Africa, for example, the negative stories, we want to report the positive stories. And show Al Jazeera does not mean Al Qaeda, whose videos that have included the execution of foreign hostages in Iraq air on the network first. The issue that Al Jazeera faces is that it's been perceived to be, if you like, the mouth piece of Osama bin Laden. I think that's unfair. And so's this smear campaign against its stars, says the channel, the work of an American lobby group. A must-see network for some has become a difficult-to-see network in Australia. You won't find it on Foxtel or Allstar yet. But a Sydney-based satellite broadcaster says its 50,000 subscribers will receive it within a fortnight. Some say it's a biased channel. Uh, again, my question is who is not? in their own uh, ways. Al Jazeera says it'll adhere to Western broadcasting standards, but be bold in its reporting, and controversial where necessary, too. I'm sure if a Bin Laden clip comes our way and our senior editorial team deem it newsworthy, then yes, we will air that, like most other organizations do. Adrian Brown, Seven News.